one. Hey guys, it's Nicholas here again with an unboxing video, this time from Modern Coin Mart. Um, I have the sort of unpleasant uh, uh, experience of receiving this two weeks after I purchased it. Um, I ended up ordering this on January 13th and it ended up arriving only uh, yesterday, that's January 30th. So um, this is a big order, 10 ounces of gold, they're Perth Mint Bars, um, and I was hoping that they would arrive um, within a week, like some of the other videos that you might have seen me uh, unbox. One of the important things is that when you buy precious metals, that they come within a reasonable amount of time because the price of spot is always changing and a company that isn't able to fulfill their orders within a few business days of it being ordered should not be selling that product. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really want to uh, cancel my order but uh, because I did want these bars um, and uh, I just had to deal with them having arrived a little bit late. Um, but uh, I have had okay experiences with Modern Coin Mart before. It's just this one was uh, really, really delayed. So here is the packaging. Um, they had a box, as you had seen, within another box. This one seems like they had uh, situated it with uh, a nice amount of uh, paper uh, to protect it. Um, and they taped up these bars in some bubble wrap. So pretty good. Sometimes I wonder whether this is quite excessive for bars which already come in assays that are quite protective, but um, you know, it's, it's something that I think other customers might complain about. Um, since they are dealing with precious metals, they want to have a, an experience where their products are, are coming to them in a valuable looking um, object. And uh, all I really care about is this, the gold. That's what I care about. So it looks like some of these might be kind of secondary market. Somebody has clearly taken this off and put it back on. I'm not very happy with that, but you know, it's all about the gold. Um, yeah, kind of ripping over here. Not a very, a very high quality product here. Um, but the underlying gold, I think the bar in the assay is still quite high quality. I'm very happy with that. Um, so let's let's stack these up. Let me close off this knife first. I don't think I'll need that anymore. So one, two. This one looks like it's in better condition. Oh, looks like we've got another one here. Different assay here. Um, black assay there. Again, you can tell that they've been uh, futzed up around. Here you've got some peeling of the um, plastic outer coating for the assay, but the bar itself looks fine. Um, yep. Three. Maybe I will just cut this open a little bit, just a sec. There we go. Again, a lot of protective packaging. Maybe overkill for, ooh, this is uh, completely removed plastic on this one. So, looks like Modern Coin Mart may have had some trouble getting these in stock, um, and they had to send me some secondary ones. Um, but, you know, this is, this is the market that we're in. So, I got all of those out of the packaging. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is the way they came. Uh, two, without the film. Uh, some of them may have been peeled off in the past, and then I think two of them seem to be in like pretty good condition. This one seems to have been taken off and put it, put back on. But you know that's that's what happens. Uh, people take them off and put them on. Sometimes it could be heat related. I'm not 100% sure, but again, it's all about the gold. Um, and the they did provide a genuine product. Um, it, so it seems, and I look forward to 
doing some more videos on unboxings from other companies, hopefully better experiences than this past one. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe.